is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Everyone will be provided a safe transit as soon as possible. We all do what we must just to survive. Just to exist. When our society started to collapse, I was prepared. My underground shelter was filled with food and supplies. But that was years ago. Nothing's left now. I've no idea what awaits me at the surface, but I can't stay here. All I know is that there's supposed to be an evacuation site to the east. I need to get there. I need to escape this wretched island. Yeah, so we're on an island. Interesting. Time for us to make our escape then. The Cage Suburb. Capernaum. Wow, that is a huge bunker. This doesn't look so bad. Um, let's see, when we attack stuff, we have a crowbar on us and a nice looking backpack. It looks like we can gather stuff from this. Oh, yeah, right there. Scrap metal. Bits and pieces of metal, worn down and broken objects. Whose camp is this? Oh, it's about to get pretty lit right now. Yay! Camper, discover and light campfires. One out of ten. So I'm assuming we can probably gather a bunch of building material here. We got scrap metal and wood, hardy and strong organic material with a, a wide variety of uses. Left click to strike and destroy objects. Well, that, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty day one stuff. Yeah, let's see what we can break through here. Couple of these chairs. Out of the way, chairs. There we go. There's a new boss in town. That's right. Out of the way. Investigate. Upgrade the crowbar tool and break through the obstacles. Find two scrap metal, five wood, upgrade the crowbar, and destroy the dresser obstacle. Okay, so yeah, the only way through is by doing that. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more scrap metal from these grills. Nice. That table looks like it'd be a pretty big object, but I bet we can't break it. We probably need to be upgraded. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, what do we have here? A toolbox, or a store materials box of some sort. Okay. Oh, we can put everything in there. Okay. And then we can craft this at the camp. So inventory or upgrade gear. So let's upgrade the crowbar. We can also upgrade the backpack too with plant matter and scrap fabric if we want to. Oh, we have to hold it. Well, that's cool. I like that. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's leave. Let's take a look at our inventory. How do we do that exactly? Um, ah, escape. So we got lots of items in the game. Lots of metals that we can earn. Lots of recipes, points of interest, creatures that we can kill, or that we can encounter. Okay. Total progress. We've been playing for two minutes. Awesome. All right, let's make our way through then now that we got our upgraded crowbar. Oh, can we break these down? Okay. So there's definitely a lot of stuff we can break down. We're definitely going to want to do that before we leave. 12 and 24, it seems like it's random. Okay, was there any more metal down here? Did I miss any barrels or anything? Oh yeah, there's a barrel down here. And a tire too, but it didn't look like we could actually hit that. So it's going to be good to get every single spare part that we can. Looks like we can only carry so much stuff, so... Can't damage it with this tool. Ah, so eventually we can break it, but not with the crowbar. Cool. Well, let's drop off scrap metal. Nice. That's very satisfying to put that in there. It's the table. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Perfect. Alright, let's go out with the cleaning up the rest of this place before we leave. Good idea to get all the materials before we leave so we can get more upgrades. The way is open for you to proceed forwards. Claim rewards 600 XP. Cool. We're getting XP for breaking items too, so probably when we get enough XP we'll be able to upgrade uh, weapons and stuff and maybe our attacks. I think that does it for all the materials in our area. Start breaking things down. Coffee mug. Ceramics. Materials made by firing up non-metallic -met minerals, most often found in... Something I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. Let's see. Oh, we have a radio here. All working evacuation transports are outbound. Please keep calm and wait for the main balance. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Crown Station, okay. Automated recording, sounds like it. Okay, I wonder if we can check cupboards and stuff. Is this ceramic here? Yes, it is. Oh, and plant fibers, too. Oh, we can upgrade the backpack if we do enough of this. Okay, let's get a little bit more of these. Can we check counters? Oh, we can actually cook something here. 
Oh, let's not break the stove then. Looks like we can search something here. Oh, looks like there was a tomato in the fridge. Okay, we'll come back later. Maybe we should uh, not break things in the house. There is ceramic here, though. Let's grab one of those. Nice. And this pot, too. Oh, good. Okay, good stuff. We'll have to come back for that and find a way down into here. But we'll come back later. We're full on stuff. Okay, let's make our way. Oh, shift actually helps us to run. Nice. All right, anything else we can make? Let's see, upgrade gear. Backpack requires scrap fabric and a lot more plant fiber. Crowbar is going to need uh, plastics now, plus scrap wood. Scrap and wood. Okay, cool. All right, let's keep rolling. Good thing our man came out with a crowbar. That certainly was helpful. Make our way into this room now and get all that... Oh, there we go. That's... Oh, I thought that was drapes or something. Never mind. Is there a way to change our view, though? It's a little hard to see without being able to rotate. I can't tell, like, what I'm looking at sometimes. It looks like there's a dresser here or something, but I can't tell what it is. Okay. How do we get into the bathroom? There we go. Uh, hold the mouse wheel and drag to control the camera. Oh, good. I'm glad they told me. <laughs> Perfect timing. Placeholder image. Well, that was good. That was like that was like perfect timing, dude. Me and the devs like linked up. That was awesome. Oh, there's a chair here. Perfect. Wow, we're not even out of the tutorial area, but I already like what we're gathering. This is building up uh, anticipation for what's next to come. Can we rip up this? Uh... Oh, too bad we can't get the rug. Can we beat up the TV? Maybe get some spare parts for that? Nope. Grandfather clock here. Can't break that either. Yeah, we're going to need to leave some of these plant fibers behind. I wonder if they stay there. Let's see. I don't know if they have a respawn rate or something. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a lot of plant fibers. I want a bigger backpack. Already I can tell that that's going to be a big problem. That limited inventory. But that's one of the first things you want to upgrade. Okay. We'll probably end up using plant fibers for a lot more. Oh, that XP, baby. I want to get to level two. Okay, there we go. How about the bathtub? That's something we can break? Nope, we're full again. All right, let's get out of here. Should we leave the house? I think it might be a good idea to finally leave. Forget exactly what we need for the backpack upgrade. What was it again? We needed uh, scrap fabric. So we got to find one more fabric. Love how we can just store stuff here and it's automatic. That's a really cool system. I do like that. If we can find fabric, then we'll be good. Is there drapes or anything? I see um, a bookshelf. Um, maybe the bed itself, but I couldn't. didn't seem like I could beat that. Nope, we got to be level 24 or upgrade damage to 24. Uh, there's got to be like a towel in here or something, right? It's the bathroom. Got to be like a towel or... Anything? Oh man, I really want something before we leave. Great damage. Alright, well it looks like we're supposed to come back here a little bit. We break this... Nope, can't break the... Uh... Can't break the refrigerator. Alright, let's go outside. Go find some more scrap. Oh, this is great. Hello. X-Human Scrapper. This X-Human uses different types of melee attacks to bring down its target. Wow, you look great with the long pointy fingers and the thing growing out of your head. What's that thing? Hold down left to strike a power attack. When locked onto a melee target, press middle mouse button to toggle melee target. Okay. Oh, so we just got to hold and sneak up. And there we go. Whoa. Whoa. Get wrecked, nerd. Monster Hunter, we got our first kill, boys. All right. Go check the car. Uh, let's see. We got more scrap metal from that. Go to the evacuation site from the shelter. I have a feeling we're not getting out of here, so let's just check all the cars. Also, I don't know if I want to be too noisy with those guys around. What does this say? Pizza. Eat it. Yeah, that's right. 
I want pizza too, drooling face. Oh, I love the use of emojis in this game. For many, uh, from memory of the native inhabitants of the island, original artifacts discovered in 1917. Oh, I see. This might be a way to escape. We'll need a basic lockpick to go in there. Maybe we'll have to conjure some weird energy or something to get out of here. Ah, perfect laundry. We'll be able to find ourselves some fabric here. Hopefully that's... Uh oh That zombie's getting alerted with each hit. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's go upgrade the backpack before we go any further. We'll come back. We're almost full on stuff. Oh, wait, there's fabric here. Yay! Okay, cool. All right, let's go back inside. Oh! There we go. That Yeah, the door's uh, usually helpful when we're on the other side of it. Like, on the side where the enemy's not. Okay, let's get an upgrade going. We also need plastic, too, so we'll have to find some jugs or something. All right, let's upgrade that backpack. That requires uh, more wood and more scrap fabric, so definitely on the lookout for more of that. Dude, I love this game already. This is great. I'm definitely pumped to do, like, a full playthrough on this one. What do you think? Like, lots of places to go to. Everything's detailed. The intro, you know, is kind of like, huh? But this is uh, good. Oh, we get to sneak up on this one again. Nice, get wrecked. Oh, we might be able to farm materials that way. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six total slots. Awesome. Does this bag of garbage give us plastic? Ah, it sure does. Ew, gross. Okay, we need quite a bit of plastic. There we go. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, yep, shift to run. So we gotta go east. I don't know exactly. Is there a compass or anything? I, I don't see anything like that. No, oh, we have another camp point here. We could... Another campfire, but no one around. Strange. Well, let's light this one up. Two out of ten, so we have two spawn points here. Nice. Okay, we don't want to alert that zomble. I'm assuming things probably, if we store them here, we could use it at the other camp too if we want to. Ooh, more, more plastic, good. Can I upgrade that uh, crowbar yet? How many plastic did we need? Be nice if we could like uh, put a thing here. Okay, we need five, eight, and oh yeah, we need a lot of stuff. Okay, so let's go out on an exploration for a while. I'm assuming this chair is probably made of plastic. Yep, of course. All right, houses seem to have a lot of booty, and it looks like we can go check that one. So let's do a little combat here. Oh, my bad. You didn't hear that right behind you? Oh boy, there's two of them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you going to, like, try to attack me? There we go. Nice. Get wrecked. Cool. All right, what do we have here? Let's search. Oh, another tomato. Or maybe it's an apple. Looks like a tomato to me. Tomato, tomato, Nelly Mercado. More scrap. Okay, what do we have in here? Nice, more fabric. And more fabric, good. All right, so we'll have to stick to farming just those items. So let's get more plant fibers. A little bit more of that. Hey, now we're level two, beautiful. Uh, leveled up, return to the campfire and invent a new recipe that'll help you in your journey. Okay, well, let's definitely uh, get some more plastic. There we go. And, uh, what is this? Is this a box here? It doesn't look like we can do anything with it. Oh, more plastic here. Looks like that first zombie continues to respawn, so it's a good uh, place to harvest uh, reliable cloth. Seems like it's a good spot to keep getting more cloth. Okay, campfire. I don't really feel safe here. Our original camp feels much safer. Okay, let's go to the camp and see what that new recipe is about. Uh, level up. New skill gained. Enables inventing and crafting items at campfires. Good. Oh, wow. There's a whole... Whoa! That's a lot of stuff. Nice. Supplies, tools, outfits, and miscellaneous. Oh, the outfits might give us more skills and such. Let's see here. Jeans and jerseys. Somewhat comfortable. Locks 10% of damage received. Ah, oh, okay. So we can unlock a cooking pot or throwing knives. Hmm, what does that do? 
Uh, let's see, a feature. Ceramic, perfect for cooking recipes at stoves. Uh, we have the materials for that, but I feel like I'd like to upgrade the crowbar first. Looks like we can upgrade the cro uh, crowbar again if we want to, or unlock other items when we get it to level four. Oh, there's stuff for digging, farming, fishing, and building. Ah, great. That's really good. That's very promising. What a promising building game now. Throwable stuff, combat. So it could be like maybe handguns and automatic rifles, maybe. All sorts of supplies. Camp upgrades, exploration stuff, resource management. Very nice. Okay, I think what we should do is... Uh, well, the throwing knives, I guess, are a good idea. So let's do that then. Hold down to craft. A lot of materials spent there, but they'll probably be useful. Uh, the crafted item has limited number of uses. The uses are automatically replenished when you rest at a campfire. Oh, so it's an unlimited weapon until we bring it back to the camp, and then it can be repaired. Perfectly balanced blade designed to be thrown at hostile targets. 100% throwable weapon damage against monsters. Right-click to throw a knife when locked on. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and upgrade gear. Well, now maybe we should upgrade the uh, throwing knives. That's going to require a little bit of plastic and some more scrap metal. Not too much. All right, let's leave and gather more supplies. All right, so plastic and metal. Let's go for it. Oh, we can hit the gutter. That's pretty amazing. Can't hit the trash can, though. That must be a searchable item. Can't break that either. But we can now use a throwing knife. Let's give it a try. Oh, get wrecked. So we can use three out of four, or rather four out of four of those. And then we go back to the uh, camp, and then they're replenished automatically. That's pretty damn cool. That's a really cool thing. And a good stealth weapon, too. Yeah, plastic and metals are what we want. Hello, sir. Oh, that was a horrible throw. I thought it would be locked on. I could be able to scan the area using that link tower. Ooh, okay. Nice throwing knife. Good job. Cool. L luring the enemies over gives us items, too, so that's good. Hold to activate. No, thank you. That probably would attract a lot of enemies over. So let's wait until we're ready. Maybe we, we might have to run away or something. Let's go for more plastic. Okay. You know, it's really crazy. During a zombie apocalypse, everyone seems to put stuff out in the roads. Like, look at this. There's washing machines and bags of concrete, pallets, you know, cabinets, kitchen sinks, everything. Everybody just puts it all outside. Honey, there's a zombie apocalypse. I'm putting all the stuff outside. Okay, love you. Okay, let's see if we can get this zombie kill here. Wait for the timing. Wait for the timing. Nice. Oh. Lovely one sauce there. Let's wait till that other one cools down. Lure him away. Nice. And we get parts for that too. That's good. All right, this one's kind of on to us. Let's take him down. It'd be cool if we did more damage from behind. I don't think we can do as... I guess we can if we charge up, but you can always charge here, and then, yeah, wait for him to charge at you like that. That works. Cool. It can't break that down. We have stuff in the stove, which is probably another tomato. That'll give us more recipes for a boost of things. Oh, looks like another radio. For those of you thinking of building your private underground shelters, I say this. Is that really something that will help your neighbors? Or is it an act of pure selfishness? Something that only a snake would do? This is automated recording session K23, the Crown Station. Wow. Well, it seems like all of our neighbors turned into zombies, so that's, you know, bad times, either way you look at it. Okay, we can only gather more metal, pl uh, plastic, and... Grab some metal here. Well, there's two of them. We need to get wood. We gotta go on a wood run. Nice. Alright, one more to get over here. Seems like any time we go to a camp, these guys might replenish, so... Nice, get wrecked. Good combo. Okay. Oh, we have a basketball court here. What would this do? Uh, requirement not met. Level 5. Okay. We can do something if we come back here. Let's search this cabinet. Ah, more plastic. Good. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back to camp real quick. Actually, we have a little bit more metal we can drop off. Good. Okay, we should be able to do one more. 
And more fabric, too, so we can go back and check on that other zombie. In the starting area. There we go. Ah, perfect. And giving us more fabric. Beautiful. This is fantastic. Uh, let's go back to camp up here. Looks like zombies and stuff replenish, but that's good because fighting them is rather easy and it gives you free stuff when you defeat them. Good booty, good loot. Okay, uh, let's see. Upgrade gear. Throwing knife's been good so far. That increases the number from four to six. Beautiful. Crowbar could increase. Uh, let's keep on searching for stuff. Oh, plant matter. Ah, more... Uh, I think I want... Actually, I want inventory, honestly. So that's going to be more fabric. And what was it? Fabric and wood? Let's take a peek again. Upgrade is fabric and wood. Yep. So we're going to need a lot more wood. That's going to be hard to get. I wonder if we can make an uh, axe to cut down some of the uh, trees and stuff around here. That'd be kind of helpful. No doggy home. Doge not home. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's try to go get some wood. Seems to be easiest to go into a house. Kind of want to mess with the... Kind of low-key want to mess with the tower. Let's give it a shot. I feel like it'll sound an alarm, and here comes all the zombies. Oh, boy. This is how big the map is? Are you kidding me? This is huge. This is the only spot that we found so far, so it shows where we can go. Holy crap, the map is absolutely massive. Look at that. Wow. Uh, east, open east gate. Let's try to do that. Oh, never mind. The gate is sealed until nearby threats are removed. That's a big boy. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and continue to gather materials and stuff. Ah, oh, we have a map acquired now. Perfect. So now we can find out which way we're going. Temperature. All sorts of good stuff. I love the day-night cycle. It's been awfully long. That gives us plenty of time to gather uh, materials. Now, uh, got to upgrade to level 20. Yeah, we're going to need to upgrade that crowbar a bit more. The roadblock here. Bum, bum, bum. The zombie's getting curious. Hello, sir. Ooh, got hit. Wow, first time getting smacked around a little bit. It's all right, though. We got plenty of opportunities to heal. Probably via food with all the tomatoes we found. Ah, so that was a plastic crate. We'll have to note that for next time. Man, it takes forever to break those things. Yeah, we gotta upgrade this crowbar. What does this say? Southern Passage has been closed by ISDF Decree. Oh, give me the, uh... Give me that wood. There we go. Now, what about the sandbags? Would they give us fabric? Nope. Okay. They're pretty much made of canvas, so would have been a useful thing to break and get more booty. Yeah, we've been in there before. All right. Continue to find materials. What about this fence here? Ah, beautiful. This wicker fence we might be able to actually use. Yep, good. Okay, let's gather a lot of materials. Wow, this game is going to be a long one, I can tell. Lots to do already in this one. I love the upgrade system and such. Very different. And yet it's very understandable and really fun. Okay, let's keep gathering only the wood. Good. All right, and we got an achievement, too. Get close to that next XP, to level 3. All that zombie killing helping us out. Oh, we're not going to be able to carry anything else, are we? Okay, what about fabric? Oh, actually, speaking of fabric... Oh, just scrap. Plastic. This might be more metal, but I'm hoping for fabric. A little bit of both. Okay. Oh, search the car. Probably metal here. 
Oh, fabric. Nice. All right, which way is home? Oh, boy. The false gatekeeper. How did I even know he was here? What's that cringe face? Yeah, that's uh, what we're going to stay away from. Holy crap. Okay, well, that's going to have to be the boss we defeat on the east. Oh, lots of explosive barrels. Okay. Go back this way. What do we have here? Oh, press space to dodge roll. I didn't even know that. Oh, we're uh, out of uh, materials. we got to go back home. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You're dead. Oh, sorry. I forgot to hit middle mouse button. There we go. Oh, a little bit of cloth. Perfect. Wow, we almost come home fully loaded. Almost. One more plastic and we would have been okay. Ooh, we get XP for delivering. Nice. All right, crowbar needs to be upgraded. Camping restores your health and replenishes uses for equipped items. However, it appears to do the same for most of the monsters as well. Ah, I see. So if we camp, it replenishes everybody in the area. That's fine. Totally cool with that. Okay, crowbar. Nope, don't really care about that. Now uh, let's upgrade gear. Now we can upgrade the crowbar. Increases damage from 12 to 16. Hmm, maybe we should unlock new stuff instead. Maybe we could get a new tool. We gotta be level 4. Requires experience level 4. We're at 2. Okay, so it's based on XP. I see. We're currently in that, so we gotta be level 3. So the next thing we'll be able to make is a new outfit, which might allow us to travel faster or something in different supplies. Let's go ahead and upgrade gear. What about the throwing knives from 4 to 6? I like that. Then the crowbar. Uh, we'll require a little bit more. Let's go work on that backpack then. We'll do the backpack and the storage next. So we need fabric and metal. Well, we need a little bit of everything, to be honest. Okay, so fabric. Get wrecked. A knife right in the back. Where's that tutorial zombie? There we go. Beautiful. We get like four free kills. Nice. Or actually six free kills. Very nice. Ah, so you can kind of get a more more damage if you ambush them. Cool. Ooh, look at all the grills up here. That's good for scrap metal. Was well, somebody going to try to stack these up and jump the wall? Okay, cool. And what about the... Uh... Oh, yes. Nice. We can take the pallet. Good. More damage will help uh, harvesting so we won't have to wait as long in the future. Great. So much fabric. Beautiful. Looks like there's lots of stuff to check in this house. Oh, we're out of weapons. Okay, let's search. Tomato soup. Delicious steaming soup made of overgrown and ripe tomato pulps. Plus five max hit points. Ooh. We can add, uh, that's a crafting recipe, so we should be able to make that, and we have enough uh, materials for that, so we can do cooking in the houses, I guess. Like we saw earlier. But it'd be nice to be able to do it at the camp, too. Oh, more plastics. Yeah, we'll have to come back. Anything else? Give me some... Uh, Oh, fabric's good. What about beating the couch? Oh, man. Yeah, we got up to upgrade that damage again. Nice. Okay, what about the upgrade for the backpack now? Beautiful. Very nice. Okay, now we just need to work on the crowbar again, I think. So it's going to be more scrap metal and wood. Scrap metal, wood, and plastic. But I won't say no to fabric. 
Scrap metal, wood, and plastic. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, we got all the stuff we need to make tomato soup, so that'll be a good thing. Maybe we'll get XP for doing that. Oh. Oh, boy. That didn't sound good. Nice. Okay. There's one on the other side of the door. Oh, he's stuck in the wall. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, we can't break any of these down. Could do the chairs, though. Could need a lot of wood. Wood seems to be harder to find, even though it's, uh, you'd think it would be the most plentiful thing with pallets and other stuff like that. We make a recipe here. Uh, oh, we need a cooking pot first. Okay. And I think we need to be, think we need to be level three to make that. Maybe not. We'll need materials for it regardless. Hello. Okay, good. Okay, we'll go back to the old fence again. I remembered it's here. So we'll grab these chairs and then we'll start harvesting from the fence. And we have a little bit more room for scrap. Nice, we're now level three. Ah, the table hopefully has double. Okay. I wish there was an attack where we could spin and do a lot of damage to all the stuff around us. That'd be really easy for harvesting. Go to an area with a few chairs and do a spin. Very nice. Oh, it's going to take a minute, but I guess this is what happens in the survival crafting games. It's, you got to take it easy. Take it slow. Nice. Oh, with the amount of wood here, we're going to be good with wood for a while. How about the trees? Can we actually hit them? Nope. Can't damage it with that tool. We'll definitely need an axe. Okay, so now we need to do, uh, let's see, a few more to get fully stacked. And we need to beat that big boy around here somewhere, too. I wonder if we'll get a weapon to actually do that. Hi there. Nice. Got him. Okay. Okay, looking good. Uh, are we almost full? We're getting there. A couple more fences to do. That'd be nice if we slowly healed a little bit. Zombies on the other side of the wall, but I don't think they're going to be able to break through. Now we got to make a cooking pot, but when we go back to camp, we should be okay. Okay, it looks like we need uh, two more. Okay, hopefully the amount of wood that we bring back will be enough. Oh, looks like there's a little fence here. Okay, well that doesn't work. These smaller fences, though, will work. Okay, that's maxed out on material. Okay, let's get out of here. So we'll go back to the camp. Drop off our materials. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of materials. Hey, and we leveled up. Choose a new skill. Uh, vigorous, plus five hit points. Fighter, plus five melee against monsters. Or gatherer, start gathering mushrooms, bird eggs, and other useful resources that can be found in the wilderness. Oh. Ah. I feel like resources, this game is all about resources. And uh, I think we should go with that then.
Yeah, this game is all about getting resources. Speaking of which, we need more for the... Yeah, we got more for the uh, crowbar now. We need two plastic and three more scrap metal. And that should be easy to come by. Oh, can't break that, though. What about the mailbox? Okay, a little bit more scrap metal. A little bit more plastic. Uh, let's see... Now, I wonder if, if garbage cans that we can't search, can they be broken? No, it needs higher level. Well, you'd think an oil can would have more uh, damage or whatnot to it. Okay, let's get this kill. Nice, always need a little bit more materials. Okay. Now oh, there's that box again for plastic. Good. Nice. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You dead now. Good. Okay. Well, let's just go back until we have... Uh, once we have all of our materials full, we can head back. More fabric. Nice. Oh, we go through those knives quickly, but I really like it. It's a good stealth weapon. Okay, another zombie there. Hello there. And more fabric. Good. Another zombie. Oh, wow. Strong enough to get him in one shot. Perfect. Okay, let's drop off again since we're so close. And we'll check our upgrades again. So the crowbar finally ready to be upgraded. Beautiful. Now we can go 16 to 20. But we need more iron. Oh, we need iron now. So not just scrap anymore. So that's going to be a hard stop. And hide. So we'll have to get uh, animals or something for this next upgrade. We'll have to go hunting at some point. All right. Level 3 has unlocked the bag of blood for us. Uh, fresh reserve of blood to keep... Uh, hemoglobin, hemoglobin level stable. Don't know what that is. Does that mean health? We need more plant matter again and plastics. But a cooking pot. Let's get more scrap metal so we can get cooking. And I think we'll be able to heal out in the field, which will be good. Oh, nice. And we're almost to level, almost halfway to level four. Good. Um. So we need more plant fibers. Oh, finally. Crowbar is upgraded to where it's not a pain in the neck to ha harvest anything. And if that zombie comes out, we'll fight him. Oh, I wish it would go where my mouse was aiming. Good. All right, plastics. Nice. Yeah, we'll probably need a lot of plant fibers for things, so we may as well just get all this stuff gathered up. Ba -da -ba -ba. Let's see what happens with one hit from the crowbar while they're alerted. Maybe we can take them out. Melee seems to be pretty easy, but this is a good way to clear out a room silently, get the numbers down. Nice. All right, all sorts of good stuff here. Okay. Uh, so it's still going to take a few hits. But that one's taken down. All right, more plastic we need. Well, we haven't really searched over this way. Wrap metal. So we're kind of confined to this first zone with the wall around it. There we go. More plastic for us. I guess we'll go around until we've pretty much gone through all the resources that are available. Until we get Big Boy out of the way. He ugly. It 
Seems like if you lock onto the enemy and go further away from them, you have to be very close, otherwise the lock expires. But if you keep your mouse over them, it actually kind of... Yeah, it does work that way. So that's a... That's not the way they intended it, but it's okay. Ooh, look, there's eggs over there. So when we leave this area, that gathering will become useful. Okay. Nice. Great way to gather materials, too. The zombies come right to you. Okay, let's be focused on more scrap metal. And... Oh, we made our way back to camp. Unintentionally. Wow, lots of stuff for that. Alright, we can upgrade again. Uh, we can actually invent stuff is what we're trying to do. So now we need more scrap metal. And we can do the bag of bag -o blood, but that's going to be requiring more plastic. So plastic and scrap metal. Let's keep going back for that. Alright. about the fire hydrant? Nope. Dumpster? Nope. We can search this van. Perfect. Alright, more scrap metal, please. Not bad. More scrap metal. Beautiful. Okay, let's check this house again for booty we may have missed. Oh, is there a toaster we can destroy? Yes, good. Try to get him with that stealth kill. More scrap metal, though. Uh, lock-on system. Needs a little love. Uh, maybe there's a perk where they don't have to be as close to you or something. Looks like they have to be awfully close. And for the basketball court, we need to be a higher level. Can we get rid of this bin, though? There we go. Good damage. No, lots of good stuff in here. That one will have to be a little higher. Okay. Back to our HQ again. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get the uh, mailboxes out of the way. Good way to get extra resources. All right. Back to the cooking pot now. Let's get that done. Let's see. Invent and craft. So the cooking pot now. Four ceramics and eight scrap metal. Perfect for cooking recipes at stoves. Let's do it. Excellent. Very good. Oh, baseball cap. Uh, let's see. A simple hat that provides limited protection against head damage. Uh, plus 10% throwable weapon damage against monsters. Blocks 8% of damage received. Ooh. Alright, we gotta get some plastics then. And the bag of blood. Let's use our plastic on that. Doing more damage. Jeez, where are we gonna get plastics though? We can get it, of course, randomly from zombies. Okay, well, off to a bad start. And there's plastic over here. Okay, a couple chairs. More ceramic, good. Try right, this zombie on patrol. Oh, nice. Oh, that's wonderful. The amount of plastic that what what luck. Beautiful. Dodge roll, more plastic over here. Whoa, we got a thrower. Oh, that's why they were teaching us that. Okay. We got a bad boy who could do some real damage. Nice. X human hurler. Okay, well that's why they were telling us about that. Okay, search the trash can. Okay, so at this point, I'm really enjoying this game. If, if you couldn't tell, I'm certainly uh, enjoying this. 
It's gonna be a long, slow grind, and I think that's probably uh, a good thing. Another radio in there. So we've discovered a new area we haven't been to. Oh, uh, we need to go make lock picks though to get inside. Darn, there's some good stuff in there too. Unless this is magically open. Nope. Oh, another uh, backpack area here, or a uh, camp. Backpack upgrade is what I was thinking about that I wanted, because we were getting close. Nice. Okay, can we actually get that upgrade for the uh, baseball cap now? Uh, we need... We got everything we need. Perfect. Okay, let's hold that down and craft. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So that auto is, auto is being worn, right? Let's make sure. Uh, let's see. Metals, recipes, skills. Creatures we've discovered so far. Ah, uh, we auto wear it. That's good news for us. Okay, now we need to start finding uh, iron, but that's going to require us to upgrade our uh, skill level more. So we're probably going to have to take scrap metal and smelt it, and if we're going to do that, it probably requires something to upgrade the camps. Or we'll have to find something. Good, lots of good scrap metal. Nice. Lots of pallets here, too. I must say, the harvesting does take a, like a sweet amount of time, but uh, I think it'll get better as we get more weapons. I mean, obviously, this game's all about make a new thing, upgrade it, then find a new thing and upgrade it, and just doing it over and over again. And these enemies are very easy and basic, but uh, we're about to see some more difficult enemies when we leave this area. I'm trying to target them. Oh, that guy seemed a little different. He looked a little bigger than the other ones. Okay, more fabric. Oh, we have a hurler. Oh, he's actually smart. He'll back away from you. Okay, what would a tomato soup do? Cook and eat. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it does, but uh, I don't want to make anything yet. Unless we really need it. Oh, now we're level four. Hold on, let's go back to the... Uh, go back to the fire and quickly see what we've done. What have we done? Lots of good wood in there and stuff. Level up. Choose a new skill. Uh, rat pack. Or pack rat. Hold on. Oh, wait. Eat edible materials you're carrying to regain hit points. So you can eat them without doing anything. Fast learner. Plus 8% experience points gained. Damn, that's really good. Or a material carry slot. Damn, damn. These two are really good. I think we should probably go for uh, XP. I think we're going to go for XP. Because that's just going to help everything overall. But carrying more materials would be good, too. Oh, we got quite a big backpack now. Okay, let's see here. I don't want to fight these guys again. I uh, wonder if there's a way to use a... Uh, flashlight. Say, uh, warehouse here? Or plastic. I think we haven't gone in here before. Mm, we need lockpicks to get in there. We'll need to be to a certain level before we get inside. More plastic, though. That's good. You know, I wonder if we make enough noise out here, if they'll come out. Let's see. This area is... Oh, they, w they can't come out because there's a... All the doors are locked. Darn. That's a shame. Good area to harvest wood here. And that'll just up our XP. Combat, of course, is up, upping our XP, too. But look at that. 86 for breaking... Yeah, 86 XP for breaking a fence. That's awesome. Okay. Well, let's head home, boys. Lol. Didn't even see me. Ooh. Fabric. Darn. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for joining me for our first look. This game is really awesome, and I'm going to be back for more, I can tell you that. So thank you very much for being here. You guys are amazing, and we'll see you all next time. Say goodbye, zombie. Thank you. Cool. All right, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.